What's up, y'all? So I need to defend my name. The real reason why Cortez got kicked out. Shout out to Binks and the sisters. They about to uh, tell us they side of the story when it comes to Cortez and their group activities. You know what I'm saying? So we about to get into that. Yeah, dig. Grab your snacks. Grab your drink. Hell yeah. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell you league. First of all, y'all, make sure y'all tune into my Twitch. It is up there in the top right corner. Royalties World CEO is my Twitch. Also, make sure y'all follow a nigga on Instagram. I know I wear, like, the same shirt every stream, but I be having a little drip over there, yiddy. So, y'all, make sure y'all, uh... <laughs> Go check out my Instagram. I'm on a 90-day little hiatus, but I'll be back. Um, we about to get into this video. You know what I'm saying? I'm reacting to this video for several reasons. But, yeah. Let's get into it. Yo, B&T Mafia. It's your girl, B&T. And this your favorite guy, my cutie, Tequila T. And you know, it's the vibe with P. Period. Period. Now, today, guys, as y'all can tell by the title, <laughs> um... We are actually finally addressing this. And I'm going to be honest with y'all. I didn't want to react to something because I know this food going to keep reacting to the videos. And I'm not opposed to somebody constantly speaking on my name. And I also didn't want to react to something um, because I honestly, I honestly feel like something is wrong with this motherfucker. <laughs> All jokes aside, I honestly feel like something is wrong um, with him because since I've met this guy... You know what I'm saying? We had we we had some great times. You know what I'm saying? We I'm finna speak on it. Every time we have fallen out, it has never been my fault. It has yeah. never, you know what I'm saying, any situation that he spoke on in any video. Banks, you know, the 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 big dog always get blamed. <laughs> yeah. The person who the person who bringing the person in always be the one to get blamed. And y'all want to know why? Let me, let me drop some shit on y'all. You bring people in and you like, you know what, y'all? I want y'all to meet such and such. I fuck with them, you know what I'm saying? They real cool. At one point in my life, you know what I'm saying? Right now, it's grind time and I want to grind with them. This my friend, I thought. So, that's what we about to do. You praise this person. You, pr you bring them in. They say, thank you. About it. I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with you too. Boom. Get in the door. Y'all grind with each other. Y'all grind with each other. And then suddenly shit happens. But we're going to get into that. Never been my fault. And we're just going to break it down. We're going we gonna to start from the beginning. Um, Just like he started from the beginning. Why he put my relationship issues in in his last video? I don't know why. That was kind it's of petty. To cover up that um, other stuff. It's to cover up the other it was stuff. Unnecessary. Yeah, very unnecessary. Um, and that just goes to show you, you know, what I'm saying when when I when I'm a friend of somebody, what I tell them or what I go through, what without it being a situation, it's not gonna leave my mouth when we ain't friends no more. What we speak about is supposed to be personal. It's called a code. Whether we friends or not, bitch, at one point, I liked you. Okay? So if you told me something, or if I tell you something, shut the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Simple and play. Shut your ass up. You know? This motherfucker done put everything out, whether it's true or not. But first off, let's start off at the beginning, right? Just like he said, we started doing videos. We were doing, we were doing hella videos. But what y'all need to understand is this. I live in Grand Rapids. He live in Muskegon. So I hit him up because I felt like he was a funny person. I didn't hit him up because he was going viral. No, none of that. I even hit up um, the girl Alexis, who, who funny. You know what I'm saying? I hit her up too. I hit up everybody who I felt like was a funny person that I could that you yeah, collab with. Yeah, yeah, that I could collab with. Because at the time, Takia didn't want to collab with me. P didn't know. She didn't know shit about YouTube. Takia just wasn't feeling YouTube. You know what I'm saying? And it is what it is. So yes, I reached out to him. Hey, let's collab. Let's work. Let's do this. Let's do that. Not not knowing, you know, what I'm saying the type of stuff I was going through. It was times where I would go down there. It's a 30 minute drive, y'all. From my house to his house was a 30 minute drive. 20. You become a Uber, huh? You become. 
come a Uber, the limo driver, the fucking, uh, uh, the truck driver, whatever you're driving. You become the Uber. <laughs> I want y'all to know that I'm not, because I, I, I've spoken to Cortez too. Cortez, I, I don't have anything against Cortez. This ain't none of my business, okay? But if you know, you know. You get what I'm saying? You become the Uber. <laughs> Bitch ain't putting in no gas. Bitch ain't even, can you, I got 10 if you, I can put 15 on, nothing. You become a Uber. Gas ain't cheap. Yeah, gas not cheap, so. Who you telling? I was going down there to get cars and that's how hungry I was. I it get it, friend. I was just using the motherfucker. It. I was just right. hungry to have somebody to do YouTube with because YouTube is my dream. Right. Nobody else's dream. YouTube is my dream. This is what the fuck I want to do. Period. Excuse my language if I get a little bit Cause. too bad. So I was that's going down there back and forth. Right. And around the time before I went viral, um, don't quote me on this, but uh -huh. I feel like, you know, he was super duper busy and I couldn't catch him. You know what I'm saying? So oh. I ain't gonna lie to you. I probably felt some type of way like, okay, well, I. Because you bagging a bitch. Hey, boy, boy, I'm trying to tell you it's bag season. I'm trying to. Oh, you got something to do? Oh, okay. Well, I was just, you've been crying, telling me how you ain't got no fucking money. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to help you out. You, you don't want to work. Oh, okay. You with your mom. You take care of you. Oh, okay. So you ain't got no money, but you don't want to work either. But you, okay. Okay. After like one, two, maybe three or four times, bitch. I'm not asking you no more. Snip, snip, nigga. Chitty, chitty, bang, bang. I don't have time for that. Do you get what I'm saying? If you know, you know. Y'all, this one of them. Y'all better put two or two together. Make that shit four. I don't have time for this. How many times I got to ask you, you ready to work? How many times I got to say you got you, know, you trying to, uh, you trying to make some money? How many, how many times I got to say that? I'm already a Uber. Now I got to beg you too. Oh, no. I, hell no. I'll catch you on the next one, baby. Because this is bag season for me. You not about to hold me back. I know we cool and all, baby. But my bag is way more important than this friendship. Fuck you. If you not trying to make a bag with me equally, we can't make no bag. But you not about to stop me from making mine. You know what I'm saying? No, man. I can't, you know, if you right. can do videos, that's fine. Yeah, I get so it. So then me and Takiya go viral. Right. And everything was just good, you know what I'm saying? But before that, right. he was busy. Yeah. Me subtracting, having to drive it all the way down hell. there. Busy as hell, ain't got shit going on busy. It's just broken busy, somehow. Okay. To do videos, you know what I'm saying? Right. That was, if it, it was a weight lifted off my shoulder, yes, I still want to do. You talk about that weight lifted up off them shoulders. <laughs> a weight lifted off them shoulders, weight lifted off that gas tank, weight lifted off that conscience. Cause you over here trying to <laughs> Nick, shut up. <clears throat> you over here trying to help. You trying to help. Then that conscience get bad because you like, damn, this person did tell me about their situation. I'm trying to help. But bitch, I done became a Uber and a fucking uh 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 a mama. You want me to beg you? No! Yo yo! Do videos with him, but at this point, I shouldn't. I don't have to do that drive. So if y'all understand, like, I get it. In a friendship, if you always going to this person, you right. always doing this, and you always doing this, you always, you know what I'm saying? Therefore, is that a friendship? If you the one who always hitting that person up, always trying to, always look out for a motherfucker, huh? Is that a friendship? Is that equal? Are you my equal now? No, 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 no. This is not a friendship, bitch. This is what I call an opportunist. That's what I call it. I'm the only one given. You the only one taken. Do you get what I'm saying? That's not a friendship. No. That gets a little bit tired. Hell so no. In the midst of me going viral, I was going to take a break. I even had a, a conversation with my mom. Like, I was going to take a break from going down there. Now I'm saying. Got to. Um, 
because of gas, because of we other know. things and all Makes that. Makes sense so to me. I ended up going viral with Takia. Right. And you started working with who wanted to work with you. Even though she didn't want to work in the beginning, which you can keep it real about. Some people ain't ready, but at least she told you she wasn't. And she a Leo. I know damn well she said, I don't want to do that shit. I don't feel like doing that shit. No. I can respect that. But I got to keep chasing you. That when you, with YouTube, when you go viral, right. you need to motherfucking run and keep doing it and now. stay consistent. A lot of people Period. don't know how to stay consistent. We know. So I seen what they love, mm -hmm. which was our sister Bond and my sister being goofy as hell. And You went with what worked. You went with what worked for you and that didn't cost so much money. I get it. Me being the big sister and just like, Takia, this and that. Like, they love that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, they'll come to the channel for Takia. A lot of people, they'll come to the channel just to smile. A lot of people will tell us like, oh, well, I don't, you know, I be down, I'm depressed, such and such, such and such. I'm coming to watch our videos. It doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? It never, it never got to me, but I noticed that he stated uh, Binky was down talking to Kia. Now I know sisters talk, blah, blah, blah. And he got that because when we was arguing in the house, which I'm going to get to, my mom said, nobody can separate Binky and Takia. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but sisters. God. So, right. um, sure. he was like, Binky was dogging her, um, saying that, what he's saying, if anything, um, I'm the reason why. First off, Cortez, you just said it. Like, honestly, Takia, why are you doing YouTube? Because you. <laughs> Cause of you, <laughs> I gotta get this game. I think. Hurry up! Hurry up! No, tell them what you usually say. Cause she put a gun to my head. If anything, as a <laughs> big sister, you—you mm -hmm. you ain't anything, had no as choice. A big sister, why the fuck would I continue to? prosper and keep going when I have little sisters around me and she's already doing videos with me, why wouldn't I put her on in a place? Why not prosper with other people? Everybody ain't blessed to have their two sisters right beside them at all times. That's a blessing. Okay? And to put a gun in their head and make them do it. That's even better for me because I understand. Bitch, I'm trying to help you. Come on and do this. Yes, with a gun. Come now. Too. Okay? I completely understand that. It's lonely as hell at the top, but it's lonely as fuck at the bottom too. With all them leeches and bottom feeders, like the baby say. One of them lines. Ain't no love at the bottom, neither all these. what he say? Ain't no love at the bottom, neither all these blood sucking leeches and bottom feeders. You know what I'm saying? God is just all them down at the bottom. Okay? But still, don't nobody want to go do this shit alone. You know what I'm saying? And then at the time, he was telling me about the friends that he was talking about. Uh -huh. He was like, yeah, well, they said you wouldn't be this, you wouldn't be that. And they inboxed me. So this is where everything starts, right? So this is where the argument starts at. So I was telling Cortez, hey, I can't make it. I can't come down there. I'm busy because I was busy doing videos with my sister. Honestly. And then during that time, he was busy doing videos with the people, right? No, I was telling him, like, you know what I'm saying? find somebody else to do videos with because I can't make it down there. Like, I'm really right, trying right. to mm -hmm. run it. Like, they love the sister shit. Like, I'm being honest with y'all. They love the sister I mean, come to me. Sister shit, so I'm running with the sister shit. Mm -hmm. So, um, they asked, I mean, um, I, was, I was telling him that, and then I guess he got upset about me saying, keep going, I'm going to promote you. Yes, we, first off, if I'm going viral with you, you know what I'm saying, if I, if I went viral with my sister, even if I didn't go viral with my sister, I was still going to have a good relationship. But, it was certain things that transpired transpired that I was just like, you know what, I kind of, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to still stay in Grand Rapids and do what I do with my, with my siblings. It was your intuition. Your intuition told you to quit wasting time, and that's what you did. So, long story short, let's just get into the video. So, what happened was, I was, I was telling him, hey, I can't make it, blah, 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 woo -de -woo, um, and he started getting mad. And instead of coming to me, he started, you know... When I told him, like, you, um, see if you can do somebody videos with somebody um, until I'm able to get down there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Something it's just, you know. Yeah, something. like, if I'm busy doing videos with my sister, it's going to be hard for me to get to him. But if he was to come down here, then it would have been a whole different story. But when he did come down here, we're going to talk about that afterwards. So, I'm like, find somebody else to do, do videos with. He find other people to do videos with. But in the midst of that, he basically was dogging me, basically saying... Oh, I'm only um, using it for videos. I'm playing my role, blah, blah, blah. Makes sense to me. 
It makes the person who got good intentions for you always take the fall. The person who has the best intentions for a motherfucker always take the fall. Always. Somehow, the person who wanted you to be great, you turn it against. Because some shit not going your way. Ah. Um, literally dogging me mm -hmm. off. So he ended up coming down to Grand Rapids and he told the girls that I will collab with it. So the girls is the the girls he was doing YouTube with is the ones who brought him to Grand, Grand yes. Rapids. When they mm -hmm. came to Grand Rapids, he told the girls basically like we she, all she, we videos. all gonna do videos. Do like videos he just together. he just put Binky in it, like telling them they gonna collab. Like yeah. they never talked about so that. So when I called him on the phone, I said, Tez, I don't I don't know these people. I'm not doing no videos with him with them. Why? Because I don't know them. You don't. I'm not doing videos with them because your ass done already flipped on me. Ain't no telling what the fuck they gonna say about me. I tell somebody no real fast and now it's even worse. Oh, everybody getting to know now. Like, I do videos with you. Everything that went on in my house that day, you go on the internet and tell everybody my fucking business? No, 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 no. The people that I put you on to, you get on the internet and talk shit about me? Oh, no, 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 no. See, that's a feeling y'all don't even understand. That, that feeling right there is the most disrespect. It's like spitting on me. You know what I'm saying? That's some real disrespectful shit right there, baby. Of 2021. You hear me? It's all good, though. Just yeah. collab with anybody. You don't just tell people. You don't know what people's energy is like. Right. You, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I didn't even, I've never met these people. You think I'm just finna just, oh, hey, let's do, no. Like, Hell no. Like, it's, it's, it, it, got, it got different for me. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Because it's me and it's, it's a family thing right now. So, you know what I'm saying? Cortez, I'm still doing videos with you because I fuck with you. Yeah. But, but no. now we should collab uh -uh. with everybody. Yeah, like I'm not that's, not, with that's everybody. not what I wanted to do. No. I'm not saying that I've said multiple times that I'm willing to collab with other people, but I didn't know these people. And not only that, but he was talking bad about these people. You ain't got to. So, so why would I want to collab with them? So they brought him down to um, Grand Rapids. Uh -huh. and he and, they, and he pulled up at P House because I forgot what I was doing. I was doing something. And um, I was on the phone, I'm like, Cortez, I don't know these people. I'm not collabing with them. You know what I'm saying? I told you that we could do some videos, blah, blah, blah. Woo -de -woo. That was that. Mm -hmm. So they got mad. So they got mad. And I'm like, what are y'all mad for? They got mad. And let like, you snap. Hold on, wait. Let me pull the um, screenshots up. It be the entitlement for me. They left. Yeah, they got mad and left. Because Cortez yeah. was like, um, where you at, blah, blah, blah. And... That was that, you know, and I was just like, you know, I'm not doing videos with them straight up. And I told him everything. So this is what happened after they left. And I said that I wouldn't collab with them after he told them that I would collab with them without saying anything to me. They wrote me this. I'm just trying to figure out why you think why you think just because you blew up, you think you better than motherfuckers. And how you going to tell Cortez to stop doing pranks with us? Motherfucker, you only famous because of your sister. First off, I never told Cortez to stop doing pranks with those people. The reason why I, matter of fact, I did. I, the reason why I said that oh, is because it was, yeah. Really, really sexy. And he was, he was basically telling me like, yeah, they be, they be beating me up. They be, you know, uh, they be kind of yeah, basically like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And, like they, and he be like, I let him, I let them do that because, you know, it's content, blah, blah, blah. So I said, laughing my ass off with a whole bunch of O's. I said, I'm famous because I put in the work. I said, and Cortez said he wasn't doing shit with y'all no more, which he did say that. So um, he was like, uh, she was like, no, your sister put in the work and stop speaking on our name. We not worried about you. We got a video. Um, Respectfully, I don't know who these people are. So I don't know if y'all going to see this, but please don't come for me. I'm just, I want to put this in here because people say like, um, your sister put in the work like Binks, as far as I know, respectfully, she edits the videos. Um, she comes up with the idea. She, you know, she helped her sisters goddamn grind this shit out. You know what I'm saying? But to, to say that to her, even I know her sisters even think like, yo, that's so disrespectful. Like, don't get me wrong. Takia definitely is entertaining as fuck for sure. And when you cut on the camera, I know she can put on. But it's business behind that camera, bro. <laughs> Y'all don't understand. It's business behind this camera, man. 
You know what I'm saying? And you, you got to handle everything from beginning to the end, not just the entertainment part. You know what I'm saying? But to be like, yeah, nigga, you ain't putting in on your work. It's your sister like, like. <laughs> you think she just putting in the work and I'm not? Like, how how is it that we on the same team, me and my sister, but she the only one putting in the work? This shit crazy to me, man. Um, uh, I'm not trying to come at you no type of way, but the crazy, shit you be bro. telling us um, that you be saying be pissing me off. Like what? They were saying they have a video of him basically dogging yes. us and certain shit, which was sent to me. You know what I'm saying? I don't get, he was basically saying his mom don't like y'all I already told y'all that yeah. part. So at that point I called them because at the, what what do I need to keep texting y'all for? She don't ever text y'all. I'm never I never text. I <laughs> she call. don't. She always said, so called me. Up? So they was It's Regina for me. <laughs> and the dog. I'm the Pillsbury Doughboy. Me how they let me hear the voice recording on um how he was dogging us and blah 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 and saying that oh well, he was he always down talking y'all oh well he said this he said that and shit after nothing that I was positive yeah nothing, nothing positive nothing at positive. all whatsoever so um then I called Cortez I'm like why would you say that you know blah 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 this and that da 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 and he what? he he started like at right. this point at this point he knew he was wrong like he was crying in the phone. Mm -hmm. Nick, shut up. Boo hooing. Boo hooing. Literally, I'm crying. All my life. Literally crying in the phone. So then he was like, I don't even know what they're talking about, such and such, such and such. So they said, he's lying. We don't we don't got the whole video. I said, I'm just saying, I don't know y'all from a can of paint. I don't have shit against y'all, but don't discredit me. Um, I said, y'all mans be, talk, be talking about y'all. I said, if, if I wasn't loyal or solid, if I wasn't loyal or solid, I wouldn't drive to, to and from Muskegon to get his ass to do videos and wouldn't have helped him when he, when he was asking to collab with us, which is absolutely true. We know. And I was like, I was being a real friend to him, um, helping him out, but he filed for, um, what he pulled. Last week I and the girl said, I apologize, bro, but this shit really pissed me off. And we don't know, and we don't know y'all either shit. We confused we confused every time every time he would come back he, he told us you were saying something then he said he's trying to lie like we don't got no video so then i sent them screenshots of me back and forth talking to cortez and then we went on live we went on live and was calling him no when, when he told them no did another i'm not i'm not, I'm not there yet oh, okay. yeah so we went on live and we were snapping and i guess he must have seen it or whatnot and you know he he started telling them like well tell them well tell them it was a prank right. and um so we don't live and stuff like that and they, they said one of them actually told us that it was a prank and then she told me she wrote me she said laugh my ass off hey binks go back on live and add me i'm gonna say it's a prank but it's really not he keep begging us to say it's a prank so i'm gonna just say it's a prank and we all know it ain't that and i loved it i said man fuck him i'm gonna collab with y'all though she said laugh my ass off he been talking um got for like an hour though and i let us know if, if you can i said i'm gonna ask my manager and i hit y'all and then um basically he weird yeah and then yeah. some other stuff happened i was like cortez is crying and stuff saying y'all was some snakes and stuff and and then she was like he was outside i said yeah she said because we trying to figure out where he went because he was gone for like an hour and how we on some snake stuff and he the one who started all this stuff he mad because we won't lie lie to you and say it was a prank you should have recorded what he was saying because he lying and yeah, so that's that's just that. You know what I'm saying? So the first time we fell out is because he was down talking me, speaking on my name mm -hmm. in a foul manner, and he got caught because his friends told him. I mean, his basically he was just going back and forth being messy between both of us, mm -hmm. and I didn't even know these motherfuckers. I didn't even know these girls. Shit you crazy. know what I'm saying? At all. And that's what made me like, I don't know if I should believe it until we heard that. Yeah, so you know, it was that. So we that's why we snapped on him the first time. And then afterwards, me being a dumbass, me having a nice ass heart, mm. I wanted to be friend I wanted to be friends with mm. him again. Mm -hmm. I felt like if I'm gonna continue to grow, I want him to grow too because Ain't this that is that we that's it. Girl. Yeah, this, this oh, is, is, yeah, so yeah, they was, mad at, they was mad at me for doing the video. I'm not going to lie to y'all. They was upset. You know what's so crazy? Because you could literally, a person could literally burn your ass and you know it hurts. You know what I'm saying? Like a person could burn you over and over and over again. But when you a good person with a good heart and got good intentions, it's okay. Because one thing about me, I could take burns. They don't hurt that much. And I know how to bounce back from anything. And I can say that confidently. You know what I'm saying? I know how to bounce back from anything. Okay? Shout out to God only though. 
I'm all, I only can because of him. All right. So <clears throat> me being able to do so, you able to take that burn. It's like, God damn, you stupid bitch. I know you just dumb, though. No. You know what I'm saying? You just, you a little slow. I'm going to continue to help you because I love you. <clears throat> I'm going to continue to help you because I love you. You know what I'm saying? And you do that, and they'll burn you again. They'll burn you again and again and again, but you allowed to burn. That's when you have to blame yourself because you allowed to burn. You know? No, I, I, I snuck to him. I snuck to Mesquite to go get him, and I brought him back, and then mom was mad at me too. So, anyways, um, I I felt like you know this is his dream too. Fuck it, they'll they get over it. Mm -hmm. So, um, we go to Mes I go to Mesquite and I get him, and basically we was talking about not doing videos. Let's just work on our friendship and stuff like that. Now, mind y'all, before the situation in Texas happened, I had a conversation with Cortez the day before or two days prior, prior mm -hmm. to that. And I said, the only issue that I have with you is I feel like you won't come to me and speak to me about how you feel. You just go to the next person. He said, out of his mouth, sis, you don't have to worry about me speaking on your name or talking Straight about like you that. at all. How ironic. Have y'all had conversations about like that before? Because I have. Have y'all had them conversations before? I'm just curious. Okay. Straight out loud. Okay, cool. The day before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we end up going to Texas or um, Texas Makes and sense. stuff like that. And we was working. Um, now, I'm finna fucking put it all out there since this motherfucker want to post screenshots of my old relationship. He and exposing shit. you. When we, go to, when we went to Texas, um, everybody put it on the house. Everybody put it on the motherfucking house. I'm being super duper honest. Everybody put it on the house. So, um, Cortez didn't have the money. And I was like, you know what, bro? It's not about no money right now. Just come down here and work. You know what I'm saying? It's on me. Don't worry about it. It's on me. I got you. Because I love you. This your dream, too. I want to help you. Boy. And this is your dream. Do what you got to do. Blah, say, blah. I could just relate to this so well. I could relate to this so well. It's like, like, we went through the same shit. It's crazy. You can pay me later. Sure you know what I'm saying? That. Just like that. I believe you can pay me later. So then he get down there. He get all the content done. Blase Bond. We start talking about coming to Texas again next month. And we start scheduling and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And he was like, I'm not going to be able to make it because I don't got the money. First off, you have all of this content, Cortez. And I think he kept getting uh, community strikes. First off, you have all of this content. Like, you're going to run it up and you're going to be able to pay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So crazy. Just so relatable. I'm sorry, y'all. I mean, it's relatable. It's, it's almost like the same. You know what I'm saying? I'm not pressed about no money. Simple. Let's just put it like that. So, um, the second time he was like, I ain't got no money. I said, Cortez, just pay me later. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And he was like, okay, I'm going to do that. So then we started talking about, um, well, before that, we started talking about him signing to So Famous ENT. I was never pressed to sign, to sign him. him let's just yes, let's I just did. say that the reason why i wanted to sign him is because i knew the exposure that we was getting um i knew that if we were going up he was going to be in the same city for us to go up you know what i'm saying yeah. 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 yeah so we so why not sign you know what i'm saying At this and her work ain't free respectfully and her time ain't either at this point you know what i'm saying yes you was on some foul shit but situation. Right. you don't nothing is for free you know what i mean my sister nothing. signed to me they, right, even they, they, they was, my sister signed to me they pay 15 percent and they and they grow they get money you know what i'm saying so why would i just let you do it for free so i i let him come to the house for free and then she got her sister's paying her but let that nigga come in there for free i just i I'm in shock because call me biased, but I, I'm I'm in that seat. I know that seat. That I know that seat right there. Call me biased. I take it. I know that seat. Okay. The shit will behoove you. Okay. It's like, bitch. <laughs> what? My sisters can pay me, but you can't. And you getting all this exposure. Got it. And you know what I'm saying? I was still giving him video ideas. Trayvon, don't put that in the chat no more. Can you please not put that in the chat no more? I can see. And for him to say that we didn't support him or we didn't, we was holding him back, Cortez wanted to do shit like 
Caught in a bed prank, caught in the shower prank, this and that, blah, blah, blah. That's where the community strikes come and this, from. And, and the reason why we didn't want to do that, not to put anybody in the house who was there, but motherfuck, excuse my language, but we are all females. Certain things has happened to some some individuals in the house where they were touched and molested or something like that, and we did not feel comfortable with that. If, a month, if y'all as supporters or his supporters don't understand why we didn't want to do that, that is y'all fault. Y'all may see it. us do... Uh, the OnlyFans prank. Y'all might pull up other stuff. You know what I'm saying? That we that ain't no niggas facing. No, it's not yeah. even that. It's like okay, yeah, we, we might have did some shit like that or whatever. But when he does it, he like takes it extremely. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's yeah. Extremely not only did he want to do sexual stuff, it's just like aggressive things. A lot of the times, like when we would do videos, it. I, I don't I don't know how to explain it. We just didn't like certain things and, and Pete told him like Cortez, you're creative. Do other things that you know what I'm saying that everybody would want to do. You're funny as hell. Like, yeah, you soup y'all see that he's like Cortez is a funny person. Like, he's creative as fuck. My boy toxic. <laughs> he toxic as hell, but he's creative as fuck. That's a fact. Like, funny as not hell. taking that away from him, but we're not about to be doing no stuff like that. Like let's let's just be real. You know what I'm saying? So I was telling him, even at the beginning, I said, I want to stay away from that type of stuff. You know what I mean? Because not only do it bring yellow dollar signs, but it's just not what we want to do. Something that's been talked oh, about. We, we can't do them yellow marks. No yellow marks. Simple. No. So um, hey. that happened, and you know what I'm saying? We was all good. Honestly, we was really doing good in the house. It was we just... Were. Be yeah, y'all. Every morning we play. Uh, mm-hmm. it is the fifty cents. Yeah. So yeah. Motivational music. Yeah. Every so as soon as we got to the house, um, I'm I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I was the glue that that held everybody together. You know what I'm saying? Always. So when they was in the house, Tess was in the house. I would say, hey, everybody, we're gonna have a morning meeting, and what we every time I start the morning meeting off, we listen to Eric Thomas motivation and then after that we go over all the content that we was gonna do that day, and then after we did we went over the content. Um, I will have ask everybody do they have anything they gotta say or do anybody feel a certain type of way to get the grabs his hand said leaders gotta get paid. Don't care about the basketball game. Alright, give a copyright. Yeah, she gave she gave me the idea, but it was a great idea. I wanna show this I wanted to show y'all that video I mean, y'all everybody doing a great job with videos and stuff like that. Um but it's always room for improvement. Um how we, you know, go about you know, starting our videos, how fast we get them done, how, you know, a lot of stuff and how creative we are. But another thing is, you know, when we have downtime, we should be, you know, either editing or this and that. Just like he said, you know, put the phone down. The phone ain't bring you nothing but a bill. So nine times out of ten, you know what I'm saying, even if you love social media, anytime, like, I wouldn't say stop being on social media, but like, you know what I'm saying, as long as y'all focus on the end goal, um, y'all gonna have to sacrifice some things. I haven't been on social media unless it's to actually post, you know, about Rick. YouTube or this and that. And Rissa, I banned them. Don't worry about it. And it's okay to contact y'all family and stuff like that, but focus on the end goal and what y'all... Hold on, what did she so say? ...to actually post. you have to sacrifice some things. I haven't been on social media unless it's to actually post, you know, about... So, I've had, uh... <laughs> How can I put this? I've had several group occasions and group conversation conversations similar like this. And what she just said was basically don't be on social media unless you're posting something. So social media is a huge distraction. And I, so huge, it can stop you from what you're doing right then and there. I got to tell the kids all the time. Baby, clean up your room. You ain't got to look at your phone while you're doing it. Listen to what you're listening to, but you ain't got to look at it. Because when they don't look at the phone, the room spotless, they paying attention to whatever they need to pay attention to, and they handling everything. But when they're looking at the phone, shit changes. Okay, adults are the same fucking way. I should be able to tell that to the kids, though, and not the adults. My nigga, them people on Instagram are not paying you. These are my conversations with occasional groups. These people are not fucking paying you. You're watching Instagram for why? Are you getting a check on Instagram? No. You're getting a check on YouTube. So how about you be the superstar and have them watch you? But the only way they're going to watch you is you stop watching them. Get the fuck off your phone. Oh my God, that was an issue. 
in my occasional groups. <laughs> what y'all watching right here is why I don't have friends. Keep watching. I love this. This is so amazing. Like that, but <laughs> focus on the end goal and what y'all what y'all want. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's important to get sleep. Keep turning on sleep. You know what I'm saying? But make sure before y'all go to sleep, make sure that y'all are accomplishing something. If it's scheduling a video out, um, writing down your next day plans and stuff like that. Um, just being focused so everybody can stay on task. Another thing I want to talk about. Um, while we in here, you know, lose your hand. Oh, another thing I want to talk about is um, before we start video today, I want to get this house clean um, because you know what I'm saying once after, that means we can go into any room, do the videos, and not come. Out. So you say shit like this, y'all make sure y'all clean up the shit because clearly we can't even think with a dirty area. <laughs> so let's clean up. And y'all, I'm not t like the way I'm talking now is not. The same conversation especially when you're talking to grown-ass folks y'all can y'all please clean up the rooms can you please clean up everything so everything can be goddamn you know organized so we can handle everything we need to handle um you don't get on your phone so much because it's gonna stop you from being focusing on what you're supposed to focus on so i'm trying to tell you i know for a fact because i did it i always have an example with what i've done Okay, I always have an example of what I've done. For maybe a year straight, I watched Instagram when I started YouTube from when I woke up to when I went to sleep. I wasted a whole fucking year on watching Instagram. I would never tell somebody else something that I did not experience. But when you get to telling people shit, now you, you think you better than me. You think you the shit now. Girl! <laughs> oh, this is so amazing. And we just gonna start rocking this shit out because don't nobody want it as bad as us. You gotta want it more, more for yourself than anybody else. We are here to build our brand and we are here to... Motivation. Um, make it happen. I would have been in that bitch really like... With, you know, money and financially, you know, shit like that. So grind hard. Um, Tess, how many videos you post here? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Well, yesterday? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, start getting into that um, momentum of posting more than one video so it, it can be reciprocated right now. and y'all can see um, growth, you know what I'm saying? Because, mm -hmm. you know, one video a day is decent, but back in the day, most of them houses was flooding us with content. For sure. You know Two like, videos well, a day, maybe three. It out for days. Once you schedule it out for the first week, because right now I'm going to just edit all my videos and schedule them out for the first couple weeks and stuff like that. But that's when the second and double uploads and triple uploads and all the uploads start coming. And that's where we're going to see that money at. Nobody is, nobody is to miss a day at all. Probably here. Then you say that, you demanding something. Like, nigga talking to me like you my mama. Don't miss a fucking day, bro. You miss a day. You miss a, missing a day on YouTube. I almost lost my mind earlier that I wasn't back here in time for me to start my live stream. This be on YouTube. <laughs> like, nah, I got to get back because I got to handle my business. This is what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. It's bag season. So y'all, including myself, cannot fall. You know what I'm saying? Just got to make sure we get them breaks to edit because when we doing videos back to back, like yeah, like yesterday. Our, we don't get our breaks to edit. Yeah, yesterday I and posted. And then by the time we done, late. we be tired as dog shit. Mm -hmm. Yesterday I posted late because we was like when we went to go get food. I was editing it on the way, mm -hmm. but I couldn't focus. And you know, like we gotta we gotta watch the video before we post it because, like I said, like how I made a mistake yesterday. Mm -hmm. It was like, you know, that was that was a mistake that could have easily been mm -hmm. picked up by by a supporter and been like, oh no, nah, this shit. This I know. Shit fake I know. Work. For me, I have. A Procrastination problem. Mm -hmm. I've been improving on it, but I have a procrastination problem. I didn't have plenty of opportunities to. So I'd rather you keep it real with me. If you're a procrastinator, bet I'm going to go ahead and eliminate that. I can't do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's another reason why I'm okay with cutting people off. Because people will be shocked of how I can just snip, snip, nigga, snip, snip. Because I don't have time for that. I have a goal right now. You get what I'm saying? I have a goal 
right now. And y'all should too. But since you're not, I'm going to take accountability for me. And that's when I decide, okay, bet, I'm going to just handle me because clearly I can't. You cannot, you can only do so much for a grown motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? You can only tell them but so much. You know? But I have had a heart enough to be like, I know you're a procrastinator, but come on, friend, do better. You know what I'm saying? I do be, but then I have my, like, my little 20 minutes where it be like, um, well, I don't really be on social media like that, but I be looking like how I yesterday I was looking for TikToks, and I ended up scrolling through TikTok. Like, I have moments like That's that. That's me. But I'm trying to work on the procrastination part. I mean, yeah, it's... it's, it's and really it's a good. thing, though. Being an entrepreneur, procrastination is probably... I want to say like 30% of an entrepreneur's issue because although you can make a lot of money at one time and it only take one hit, right? In the midst of finding that you think about so fucking much, <laughs> you think about so much and it clouds your judgment. Can y'all run ass for me, please? It clouds your judgment, you know? So, and also, if you don't feel like you're performing as well as you should, it creates procrastination. Cause goddamn, well, I'm trying to, I'm just trying to figure shit out. Your mind goes to a different place. I already experienced that too. So the most you can do is just, you know, try and help a person to to be better. But when you start doing that, I'm telling you, they, they turn on you every time. So so now it is 159. So how about this? I will give everybody. Then you try and compromise. Until four o'clock to edit <laughs> all of the videos y'all have. I know this seat out. too well. And then once those videos are scheduled out, that's when we start going crazy. Mm -hmm. So y'all have until four o'clock to get all y'all videos out and edit it the the perfect way. And then after four o'clock, that's when we going crazy and nobody's going to sleep until mm -hmm. everybody has at least five videos or more for this day. And videos only have to be eight minutes so literally uh, he 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 hell until eight minutes and get <laughs> right. that shit done you know what i'm saying um so can, can we, we do this on carpet after this after we have this meeting can we do what um so can, can we, we do this on carpet after this after we have this meeting can we do what right. that shit done you know what i'm saying um so can, can we, we do this on carpet after this after we have this meeting can we do the stolen carpet Oh. At four o'clock. At four o'clock, as you just said, y'all need time. Oh, everybody I'll be done. You, you got yeah, everybody. Yeah, everybody is not done editing. So at four o'clock is when you everybody. Got all your videos done? Yeah. All. You can edit with him. He, he, he just he just complained. Oh, stolen car. Okay, he just complained about editing. So let me give you time to edit, and we can do that prank at four o'clock. Everybody else not done. Girl, you just or schedule them, or, or schedule them it's out. It's frustrating. Or, you can either schedule schedule them out or um, stuff like that because I'm it's way frustrating. Yeah, me too. Way behind on editing. Uh, Nay, I know you got some videos you probably didn't edit that you got to get done. But everybody make sure that they're edited perfectly. If I'm giving y'all this time, just take it. Seven. Yeah, take take advantage of it, and then when four o'clock come. 5, 10, 15, 20, we need to have 20 videos done. Thanks on our way back. After everybody got five videos, we're working on TikToks and Instagram skits. Nobody is going to sleep without a TikTok Makes or sense Instagram to me. skit being done. Simple. Like, it's not, we're not here to sleep. We're not here to have fun. It's time to fucking work. Like, seriously. I know it's, this is the 4th, February 4th. We still got a lot of time left. But no, these days are going fast. Yeah, these days are going to go by fast. Hell yeah. Nobody's Entrepreneur days fly by, nigga. You wake up, next thing you know, it's 9 o'clock at night. You like, God damn. And that's why niggas do be tired. I done had people like, bro, I'm tired. Of I can't even do no more. Now me, you know, just like Beyonce, she has an issue with, uh, she can outwork people. So she has to give her staff breaks and shit. She ain't used to that. I watched the documentary with her. It was the best documentary I ever watched. She just was not used to, she ain't got to take a break. She ain't got to eat. You know, <laughs> she don't have to do a lot. But she, she knows that she needs her staff too. You know, and I will say that's a mistake that I made. I don't, well, I don't need anyone. But um, I'm not running a show like that either. 
the show she's running, she needs people. So she cannot, she cannot speak a certain way um, without losing her staff. She needs her staff. Now, granted, they people are irreplaceable. You know what I'm saying? For sure. But if you short on time, you got this staff, they need to eat. Let them folks eat. You know what I'm saying? So Beyonce has to run schedules and has to have people around her to tell them like, hey, y'all, it's time for y'all to eat. Y'all make sure y'all bring your ass here back by motherfucking this time or bitch you fired anyway. You know what I'm saying? It's just a lot with this entrepreneurship. Yeah, Binks is a good manager. The energy better still be up, but nobody is going to sleep until shit is done. We got to make goals. And if I wasn't streaming like this, I would go do a house with Binks for sure. We run that shit the fuck up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I, I'm I'm focused on streaming now. like, And then I would have to put out more money just to go out there. So I have to make a player decision. That ain't me right now. I can't do it. Gotta knock that shit down. We need to have a storm run too. Yeah, we can go. Bring her ass go. down here. Store run, Cortez, you do your video. <laughs> nah, she got to handle up in there. Do it like that. So can I do a TikTok in Walmart too? Check out our latest video. Yes, you can. Yeah. I'm gonna take my, I'm gonna, cause I've been going viral off the wearing a wig and like mm -hmm. coat and shit in there. So, mm -hmm. yeah. as long TikToks only take a minute. Yeah, so. You just don't procrastinate. Oh, That's one oh, thing oh, that I okay. noticed with some of y'all. Y'all procrastinate. When it's time to do a video, put the damn camera up, start it, and just go. We not, we not lames. We not, not funny. Like everybody's funny. Everybody knows what's going on. So just get this shit done. So. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, that's all. And yeah, we gotta get this house clean. But and even though we doing videos, we still can have fun. Yeah, we can still have like we can have fun, but nah, yeah, yeah. But at least then that's her sister, so she could talk to her like that. But I'm definitely the one to be like, fuck fun, nigga. Nah, we ain't having fun. <laughs> I don't want to have fun. I want to make money. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> what the goddamn hell? Yeah, you said it. Yeah, that shit. But no, hard. bitch. What the hell? Goddamn. Yeah. Fuck you. Blaze, fuck you. You know you saying it wrong, too. Get out of here. You're fine. <laughs> How long this video, y'all? Y'all know I'm going to talk your head off, Chad. Um, now we have 47 minutes, 20, 20 minutes on the video. I want, the goal is for everybody to have, it is 20-something. How many days is in February? It's, 28. It's 28 days. We're going to skip this, Binks. We're going to skip the motivation, friend, because, shit, we, I'm almost at an hour with y'all. Opportunities to say how they feel. You know what I mean? I gave them the floor, literally. You know what I'm saying? When me and Takiyah was into it, we sisters, we get into it. We talk. If I'm mad at Takiyah, I'm going to be like, I'm going to talk to P like, hey, this motherfucker, this bitch, she ain't doing this. or You know what I'm saying? But then I talk to, or I talk to Takiyah first and we'll just talk about it amongst each other. Now, one, there was one time where we was all talking. I don't know if it was me and P or somebody, but, um, of course. I ain't going to cap. Y'all grown, I'm grown too. Y'all know this video an hour, bitch. And if I gotta pee, I'm doing it. Two seconds. Yeah. Tez just felt as though we didn't want to talk in front of him or something like that, right? Because I, I was talking to somebody and I asked him, I said, hey, can you close the door? And he was like, I oh. wish I had somebody in the house um, where I can talk to him. We just had to close the door. He talked like to you all the time. Yeah, he talked to me all the time. We'd be closing the door talking and stuff like that. Um, but I feel like at, at some point, you know, while he was in the house, I wanted to, you know, him to earn his trust back. Like, that's just me being real. Let's get to the situation. So, we went out. Right. We went to get food. And everybody got daiquiris. 
Everybody was drunk. Everybody got daiquiri. Everybody was drunk. Everybody. I ain't drink mine. You ain't drink yours either. We weren't drunk. I didn't drink. Everybody was drunk. So he was drunk. He was drunk as shit. She looked like that. That. (laughs) (laughs) Without the hat. So he was drunk. What the fuck does that mean? Did you have your little gray fit? Actually, no. I feel like you did. Yes, you did. Or something of that sort. Turn some gossip. Okay. All right. So boom. I feel like you really. I'm sorry. I'm not. Yeah. I probably have my twist. Keep going. Okay, so boom, we um, everybody went to get drunk. Um, so at, when we get back to the house, I'm chilling, <laughs> and um, Cortez and Danks is in the car, mm-hmm. and I told what was my commentary to you because it was time flew by. What was my commentary? I said no. I said sis, they've been talking for too long. I said they in there talking about you. Yeah, no, no I said, I, I <laughs> they in there they talking, they're talking about, about you, me, something like that. Because that type of stuff hurt my feelings. Like when you're a person who. I, I don't know how to let go. I'm telling y'all that to y'all face. You, I do not know what how to she let trying go. to say is when you a person that love another person and you try and look out for that person and they hurt your feelings and they turn on you like you ain't never did nothing for them, treat you like a nigga on the street, it hurts your feelings. Make you want to punch a nigga in the mouth. You know what I'm saying? Ugh. Dead in the face, yeah. Ugh. You know, and I have a huge heart, even to this day. You know what I'm saying? We try to reach out to him. We try to talk to him. Um, we'll tell y'all after that. So, um, him and Dance is in the car, and I ain't gonna lie to y'all, my motherfucking heart is beating fast because I just knew some bad news was coming. Mm, so, I, I, do, no bad so news. I just knew some bad news. I just knew some bad news was coming. So after that, um, they was in the car for a minute, and my mom went in the room. And we all just chilling. We all was we sitting downstairs? No, we was uh, in the theater room. No, we wasn't. No, no, no. Yes, we was in the theater room because yeah. after they got done talking, they came in and he was standoffish. No, no, no. After we got done talking, I come out the thing. Thanks, come. Niggas come in the house and act like they wasn't just talking about you and shit. <laughs> like, bitch, I can see you. <laughs> I can see you. I knew you was talking about me. You think I'm stupid? Like people. Y'all, people think niggas is stupid. Like, people really think you stupid, (laughs) y'all. Then they act like you crazy. (laughs) Like, this shit, yo. People are a mess, y'all. I'm trying to tell you, boy. Boy. I mean, Cortez was coming upstairs. Dex was coming in. She was like, I got to talk to you. So I'm like, okay. (laughs) I already know it's about me, or maybe you know he depressed or something. I didn't know where you was. Yeah, so she like, so so she like, I gotta talk to you. So she knew. She like, um, let's go to the store. No, no, no. She um, she like, I gotta talk. So we go to the car. And she was just telling me everything he was saying about me, like same shit before. Can y'all run an ad for me, please? Like you know, I'm just playing my role. Um, I was never signing my cousin because he kept telling us he was signing his cousin. He was that like, was I was time. never signing my cousin. She don't, um, um what's he, what did he say? You don't be happy yeah, for him. Yeah, I don't be happy, happy for him. him. If I wasn't happy for you, Cortez, I would have never let you come to Texas and be in a so famous house. If I, well, I think he said that because of the BMF stuff. Remember he was going to do the show. And, uh, we was like, "That's what you want to do." Yeah. Okay. Don't so yeah, that. he had got a casting call to go. Um, like the first day we got to show. Texas. Yeah. And first, everybody was like, "Go!" And then he kept dwelling on it. And it was like, "I don't know what to do." Oh, but so he like, always like, do so that. I like, didn't know he want to like, do it. Yeah. Like, so I'm like, it. I'm like Cortez, if you want to do it, just do it. And then he and just then like, I don't know. Here. Like, yeah. See, like, if you want to be an actress, that that's what you need to go do. You can always. P friend, it's an actor. He's a man. It was an actor. Come back. He, yeah. His whole plan was to just come back. So I told him, I said, you can come back, blah, blah, blah. And then after that, um, he kept saying, I don't know what I want to do, this and that. So I said, Cortez, if you want to be a YouTuber, look at your YouTube and see, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Just stay. Look at your YouTube. You can make hella money doing hella videos within the amount of time that you're going to be going. Mm-hmm. If you want to be an actor and that's what you want to do, yeah, go. go. I yeah. told him that. The problem with Cortez is he be in his head too much and he thinks somebody out to get him and he speak on people in an ill way for no reason. So, I think he wanted her to get up and do cartwheels. I think he wanted me to suck something. his dick. I don't know. What you want? Yeah, like, like, she tell you, to go, she tell you if you want to be an actress to go. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, how? what else you want her to say? Yeah, so well, I think friend is an actor. He's a man. Is an actor. 
Like, you like that's what's up. Like, and you what? was talking about the headshots and everything. Y'all was having conversation. Like, but yeah. everything you were saying, he like, um, I just don't. Yeah, don't downplay your like, dreams. Why are you doing that? And you head. know you want to go. Yeah, Stop like, doing don't that. downplay your dreams if that's something that you want to do. So, um, I go to the car and Danks literally was t- like, soon as soon as they came in, Danks told me she had to talk to me. So she was like, um, Cortez was in the car basically saying that, you know, he was never signed to his cousin. Mm-hmm. Um, he he feel like um, you holding him back. But I told mm-hmm. him that you was holding him back too because y'all want to do separate things. Blah, blah, blah. Which thing so she did tell me that. She, she said she said that. that. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he was just saying a whole bunch of other stuff, which was, um, I'm only where I'm at because it's a kid. That is debatable. <laughs> um, my mom don't yeah. like him. Um, I feel like Tequila or the only one who liked me with Tequila, the only one who don't like you. Yeah, um, it was just a <laughs> lot of things that, that was being said. And, and when I say a lot of things, it was a lot. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I was sad. I was sad as fuck. Uh, when I came to that car, all I did was look at Yuki. <laughs> what, what happened? happened? <laughs> All I had to do was look at you. I'm like, what's wrong with you? I hope he's running from somebody. Mm, no, he running around. He playing. Oh. <laughs> what would he be Not running from somebody. What is he doing? Uh, he's playing. He dumb- Y'all should see her little dog. Oh, uh, it so was cute. just so quiet. But anyways, um, so yeah. After that, um, we the, came to the car. The girls came to the car, and my face was just like, Tore I got to up. I, my feelings was hurt. You know what I'm saying? Because I just had a conversation with him telling him, like, if you ever feel some type of way, just let me know. You know what I'm saying? I, we can talk about it. You know what I mean? And out of the entire time Tez was there, he had a lot of videos. I'm not going to lie to y'all. He had a lot of videos. Mm-hmm. Um, and so... Mama told him. Boom, oh, no, we get in the house. Get, we get in the house. No, we go to the store. We really did get some stuff. I didn't get nothing. I stayed in the car because my feelings were hurt. I was down there on the way. And I was so irritated because why did you? I was fucking around with my sister like that. Like yeah, that. So just because she, bro, she, her heart her too big. Thing. She always giving niggas second exactly. chances. Like, me the fuck off, she bro. do the most for him. Like, go to bed for him, and you. Still talking like shit. my own sister. You know like what I'm she like, like, how are you, you defending this nigga when I come to you about certain shit? Now like, you would come to her about, and, and it's crazy. The people who's willing to work with you and and and, and it's not so hard. You still trying to give this other person a chance, girl. This was a good video. I'm about to call my friend. <laughs> I always call her when I'm reacting to her video. She always answer. I love Binks. Why should I not answer? Because I said you were going to answer. Answer the fuck. Like Binks! What's up? Hey, I just want you to know I'm watching your video, right? Mm-hmm. And I want you to know we got the same heart. You got a, you got a oh, great... Definitely. You got a you got a great heart. You ain't did shit wrong. You got a great heart. That's all. I'm already an hour in. I'm about to end this shit because uh, I'm an hour in on my video, and I got 34 minutes on. I got about 30 minutes left to react to this, unless I make a part two. But uh, did Takia make that uh, mukbang? No, she's right here. Takia, make that goddamn mukbang, man. I am. We gotta get my baby. Yeah, I love him. That is he, she, is that a that's a boy? He He's so a, fucking cute, bro. He got a big penis. It's a boy. I don't <laughs> care about that dog dick. <laughs> Yo. Well, I didn't see it, you know what I'm saying? I couldn't tell, you know. But he's a cute dog. But yeah, I was just, you know what I'm saying? Telling you. I can't wait to watch it. Yeah, I'm going I'm to go ahead and stop it because I already know what you're talking about. I ain't going to cap. I already watched it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, I'm about to finish this up. You on Twitch? Yeah, I'm live. <laughs> Let me know when you get done so I can go watch it. I'm going to sneak and watch it on Twitch before I get on YouTube. All right. All right. <clears throat> Yay. All right, y'all. I'm done with this video. Um, I, You know, I, it was just relatable. This video was relatable. Um, shout out to Binks. I think that she has an amazing heart. Um, I've spoken to her several times on several different occasions, and I was just kind of shocked. Like, we don't even know each other like that yet. You know? And um, I fuck with you. I fuck with her. And um, 
She got a great heart. She remind me a lot about myself. I have a great heart. I have great intentions with whoever bring I bring into my life. And uh, you know, yeah, that's it. But anyway, I'm done with this video, man. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. We on to the next video. Peace.